Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is Mimo. So happy to be here with you guys. I am still in Finland. The tournament is tomorrow on Saturday. Then I'm heading back home on Sunday. I can't wait to get home in my office sleep in my bed, all this kind of stuff. You guys know what's going on. But today I'm going to talk to y'all a little bit about preparation for um, the tournament that I've been going through. Um, as you can see, we are at 4076 right now, which is uh, 28th in the world. So not doing too shabby there. And we are um, fourth in the clan right now. Um, so we're doing okay. I'm definitely happy with where we're at. Um, I've got a couple of different decks that I'm using. Um, I believe this is the one that I showed you guys in a video yesterday. This one right here is one that I'm going to go over with y'all today. Um, it has three things that need to be uh, mirrored or that need to be arrowed, so that always works really well. If you feel like um, you want to be a little sneaky, a little tricky, uh, use multiple things that need to be um, arrowed. Okay, so we lost this one right here against Dopa. He's a dirty, dirty mortar user. Um, this guy right here with the golem, that's ridiculous. The golem is hard to counter right now with these decks, but I don't face it that much, so that's why I'm not too worried about it. Um, and then uh, this guy, Extreme Games YouTube, they are, um, he's a YouTuber as well, use the mortar. <laughs> but he tweeted me about it, and so I'm just like, okay, whatever. Um, but let's go ahead and, um, and jump into uh, a couple of these things. We're going to go over uh, about two, we're going to go over two replays. And uh, then we're going to move uh, forward from there. So let's go ahead and uh, watch this one right here, guys, against somebody uh, who was over 4,000. I was at 4,000. He's a level 11. But honestly, level 11 and level 12 doesn't really change too much, especially if you're not using epics. Uh, and his princess, I'm not sure what level his princess is, but she might even be higher level than mine, um, depending. Yeah, so she, his princess as a level 11 is higher than mine. Mine is a level 3, as you can see right there. Um, so that's pretty crazy. Um, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and just get a couple of trades in right there. Thankfully, I dropped my princess down at the right time in order to get some damage done to the tower as well. So we're going to go ahead and push this right side. He's going to lightning over here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and zap all of this, take it out right there, and we're going to take out that tower. So I was fine with sacrificing that left one, knowing that I was going to take that right tower and deal a good bit of damage to the king tower, as you can, or the, yeah, the king tower. So you can see our tower on the left is a 474, but his is over at, at 1516 right now, his main one. Um, so we, uh, it, it, that was worth the trade for me. That was worth the trade for me because that puts a lot of pressure on him. Um, and all that means is that anytime I put anything on the right side, he's going to have to defend it um, because of where we're at and because of that damage that we were able to get down to that crown tower. So he's going to go ahead and drop off his prince as it looks like in just a little bit. Maybe not. Where is she at? Uh, there she is. So we're going to go ahead and drop off our double princes right here, and uh, he is going to drop off that minion horde, and somehow their range increased significantly, and they were able to take out that, uh, that regular prince uh, before he was able to get to the tower. We're going to go ahead and zap these guys, just take them down real quick, and uh, then his princess is going to come over with the hog. Now, this was a little bit of a scary situation for me, but um, it's not too bad because, again, obviously, uh, we already had his tower down. I'm not too worried about the damage that he's going to do. We're going to go ahead and goblin barrel over here. He's ready with his zap, um, and now we're just going to take a good bit of damage. So we uh, that, that trade right there wasn't too good. That trade wasn't the best of trades. Um, but we are able to drop off our princess on this right side, which is exactly where we want her to be because then we're going to be able to move up and target the tower. So right here, she is going to uh, get a lot of damage done to her. Obviously, she's going to die. That was the most damage. <laughs> uh, but we're going to take out his hog rider uh, with our prince, and his cannon is fairly low as well. Um, now, we know that he has that zap, guys, but I don't even know if I've shown him that I have a minion horde quite yet. Uh, we're going to go ahead and drop off our Dark Prince over here on the right side. And Princess in the middle, she's going to take out... Uh, she was going to take out that other Princess, but now she's not going to, which is super annoying. Um, there's his Minion Horde. We have our Zap that we can use. Um, so we're going to go ahead and Zap right here and then watch this, guys. We're going to go Dark Prince over here on the left side. He's going to one-shot everything. And then that push right there is going to be uh, the push for us. So you're going to see... Right here, we're going to take that out. The Dark Prince is in the lead, and he is the one that has uh, the shield up. So we're going to be able to get in here to this tower and deal a lot of damage, guys. In fact, we're going to deal enough 
to take it down. So even though we kept pressure on that king tower the entire time, we won by taking out the other tower. So let's go ahead and watch one more with this deck, guys. Right now, I think that hog compilations are one of the decks that you're going to see the most, especially in high-level gameplay. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, and watch this most recent one right here against somebody with a tombstone and a fireball. This this game was a little bit annoying to me, honestly. I don't know why. Um, I just hadn't faced anyone like this. Um, the Goblin Barrel, I normally don't see, but it is a, a cheeky, tricky thing uh, to use. So definitely throw it in your deck if you've never played with it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, he's actually going to start off with it, and we're just going to go ahead and zap it. Now, my plan this match was not to show him that I had the Goblin Barrel. I wanted to keep it a little bit of a secret. Um, so this whole time, it's kind of just hanging out uh, in my deck. We're going to go ahead and drop off our Princess on the right side. Um, he's going to go ahead and spin that Fireball over there, and we're going to go ahead and push left with both of our Princes, our Dark Prince and our regular Prince, obviously both of them. And then he's going to drop off this little bit of nonsense only five elixir for all this and then obviously he drops out some other stuff um but the tombstone is a really good counter for uh the princes guys um especially if you have some other stuff going on to distract with so you can see right there that tombstone's still up it didn't take any damage from the princes um but we do have our uh our minion horde right here to use and thankfully it's going to get in there it's going to take that out and then it's going to go and take out the uh musketeer as well because we zapped it so that was a good little trade for us right there. He does have more damage done to his towers at this point. Um, excuse me, but we are going to slowly push and slowly try and take this guy out. Um, obviously, we know that he has a hog, so we got to be careful. I had just used the zap, so I knew that he was going to use his goblin barrel fairly shortly, so that's why I had the princess selected to drop off down there, guys. It's very important to know the rotation of your opponent's cards. He's going to go ahead and fireball right there. Once again, not too sure why he's doing that, so we're going to go ahead and double prince um and he is going to defend it again very very well uh this time we're actually going to be able to take that out and then our dark prince watches our prince is going to uh kobe oh sad times guys i know he's gonna kobe that uh musketeer right before he dies takes her out and um now I feel, i'm feeling pretty confident with what we can do here so we're gonna go ahead and do hog and goblin barrel over here just to kind of throw him off a little bit this is the first time that he shows me that he has a freeze and so i'm like You've got to be kidding me. This is one of the most annoying decks that I've ever seen. So we got our princess down. We're going to go ahead and drop off our hog and then minion horde. He's going to fireball and he's got to choose. What's he going to choose? He's going to choose the princess over the horde. Now watch this. He's going to drop off these goblins and we're going to go ahead and throw our goblin barrel over here. Try and keep some pressure on him. Um, do I throw it? No, I don't. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and push over here on the left side now. Um, I'm, I'm realizing that I've got to keep some really good pressure on him. He's going to freeze again, which is perfect because... I wanted him to use his freeze there, and we're going to go ahead and drop off our hog over here on the right side just to distract that musketeer so that she can come in and only get off one shot on our tower. Now, obviously, I'm not feeling too confident right now with what's going on. He's got his goblin barrel coming in, and we've got our zap ready, and we're going to go ahead and zap that, and uh, it's only going to get off one shot. Now he's going to fireball. He's getting a little bit aggressive, guys, so what are we going to do? We're going to push. We're going to goblin barrel. We're going to get our princess down. And uh, we are going to try and get up in there and do some good damage to him. Uh, he's got these guys rolling, but look at this. We're going to send in our hog. It was that fireball that messed him up, guys. Now we're in there, and we are golden. So we're going to come back with it at the very end and win. That shows you guys never give up. Never give up in the middle of a battle because you can always come back. I come back from uh, one crown uh, losses all the time to where I lose a tower in the first little bit and then come back and push. So... We're going to go ahead and open up this silver chest so that I can always have one available. And look at this. We're going to jump right into a game against a guy in H2O. They are the top clan right now. They just passed us, but I think that we might have kicked out a couple of people. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the Goblin Bear. I am going to show my hand there uh, from that sense. Hopefully he arrows. Nope, he's not going to. So we're going to go ahead and drop off a Princess here, uh, get our cannon into rotation for this Hog Rider that is going to be coming in. And let's just go ahead and zap all of this nonsense, get that Princess out of here. He's going to zap as well. And get off a couple of shots there. Our princess is not going to shoot in time. What in the world? So we are down right now, guys. Not feeling too good about that. Our dark prince is going to get countered with that cannon. But hopefully he can take out the cannon. And then that means that his defense is gone. So we can get our hog rider up there to that tower, guys. Um, I'm feeling... Sorry about that vibration. I'm feeling like um, maybe going with... Um, the hog rider and the minion horde of some sort so we're gonna go ahead and try and counter this guy right here with our minion horde he's gonna freeze it which is very very bad for us 
because now that cannon is back in rotation, but we do have that minion horde. Um, but we hit the... Uh, uh, not good, not good, ladies and gentlemen. That is not good at all. We're going to go ahead and Goblin Barrel right here. Uh, do some damage to the princess. Kill her and take out that tower. Now our prince is coming in hot. Yes, because the tower is distracted, guys. On the prince, we were able to get it down with our Goblin Barrel. That was amazing. That was such a good little distraction right there. Not too sure if he already used his cannon or not. Um, we're going to go ahead, though, and drop off our princess um and have her walk up and start ticking away at that tower honestly i probably should have dropped her off uh, a little bit closer but let's let's switch things up right here drop off our hog see what that's going to do to him obviously he's going to go cannon right there and uh we are going to have to deal with his princess over there let's go ahead and just zap her oh i wanted the tower to get it down so badly there we go and now she has a slither of health left we're gonna go ahead and drop this off as well to put a little bit of pressure on it and take out that tower, right? What? Okay, good. I was about to say, we have to take out that tower. Come on, princess. There we go. Taking that down. Now we just have to defend, guys. But defending 736 is very, very hard to do. Um, hopefully these... All right, so... Oh, oh no. Our princess is going to go down. No. He's going to freeze our minion horde right here. I know it. We got a zap. Um, and it's not going to take out his hog. So he is going to take out that uh that right there come on come on come on prince come on come on oh my gosh the prince was so laggy right there no all right but it's okay we got hog rider coming in here um over on the left side he's gonna push with his hog we've got a minion horde but it is going to get distracted right there oh no our princess our princess our princess we got a zap we got a zap we got a zap come on come on oh my goodness please 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 <laughs> No, get the minion horde out of here. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm not feeling too confident right now uh, with what is going on. We've got to get our minion horde right up in here. Please, come on. Get over there. Yes, 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 yes. He's going to zap it, and we're going to do a little bit of damage right there to the tower. Let's go ahead and drop this off and go here. No, no. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We got it. Come on. Zap, 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 zap. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. That's okay. That's okay. No, no. That freeze. That freeze. That freeze. <gasps> No, the freeze, the freeze is going to be bad. The freeze is going to be... Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> I know you guys are like, Mole, chill out. But guys, we've got to get this going. We're going to go ahead and drop off our princess. And she is going to get a couple of ticks on that tower. Um, and we have got to do something here. I am not feeling too confident with where we're at. we got to drop off our, um, our cannon over here because we know he's going to go with the hog. So right as he drops his hog, we're going to try and get our hog in there to that tower. He's going to counter immediately... Um, and now he has got two princesses up, and we're going to go ahead and just zap just like this. See if we can take that. He's going to freeze that tower, guys. Um, so thankfully, he does not have that defensive freeze, and he's going to zap, and that is going to be a tie. That was extremely close. We got that tower down to 520. A couple more seconds, and we definitely would have had it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned a little bit. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. As always, keep calm and clash on, all right? Peace.